Now, the ports of Nigeria's economic capital, Lagos, are lurching deeper into a crisis. They were already congested before the coronavirus pandemic. Then, curfews and lockdowns slow them down even more, leaving cargo trapped on the docks. Now, at the same time, hundreds of trucks are piled up in traffic outside where drivers can wait days or even weeks to enter the ports. DW's correspondent, Faraz Chukura, takes a look at this long-standing problem. While in a wait time with a game of cards, these truck drivers are on their way to their papa port in Lagos. They've been stuck in traffic, waiting here for two days now. What's going on? Nobody is telling us. We don't know why we are stuck here. And now our money for food is all used up and we don't know when the road will be clear again. Abdulaziz says he doesn't have enough money to bribe the officers in charge so that he can jump the line. Not all these trucks are here to pick up goods from the ports. Some of them are also using the opportunity to wait for customers. Traffic in and out of the port is always jammed. Sometimes trucks could spend days, weeks and even months in traffic. And the longer they spend on the road, the more money it costs. Inside the port, clearing agent Bright Ehis has just received a call from his driver. After spending two weeks in traffic, his truck is finally almost at the truck entrance. But his journey has only just begun. It will still take maybe another two, three days before he can gain entry inside the port. And once he even gain entry inside the port, even inside the port, there is still congestion inside the port. The Lagos port is simply overwhelmed. It's one of the busiest port complexes in Africa, and the last time it was expanded was in 1976. Port authorities say the port now processes up to five times more cargo than its original capacity. There are five other ports in Nigeria, but this one alone handles 70% of the country's imports. The government is building a railway to help ease the traffic gridlock, but construction has been delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Inefficiency at the port has made transporters and clearing agents unreliable, a problem that tech logistics company Cobo 360 wants to solve. The company doesn't own any trucks. They provide a service, connecting agents to drivers. If prices are not favorable for you, you can bid on that platform. You're also able to see other different things that we measure. How long does it take for us to load goods in your port, on your, in your terminal, on your factory? So you also can manage some of those uh, things within your own staff. You're going to see the average turnaround time for a trip. Cobo 360 founder Obi Ozo and his team are working to make the app more accessible to drivers who have never used a smartphone. Even with these two solutions in sight, Nigeria's port problem will still take a while to solve. This bottleneck might prevent the country from fully maximizing Africa's single market, which is set to kick off soon. Meanwhile, drivers like Abdulaziz will have to find new ways of spending their time while waiting in traffic.